we're looking at the accurate thin line LED light boxes. They are a super durable aluminum edged light box that's got a wonderfully thin 5 8 inch profile. Um, they feature non-slip feet on the back so that it won't go sliding around your desk if it's slippery. Uh, they come with a power cord here and this fantastic little bag that's very velvety to put them in for carrying or storage. Um, the beauty of these light boxes is that besides being, uh, you know, slim, very attractive, very pretty and durable, is that they are LED. It's only using a fraction of the cost of regular light. And it, instead of being on the cord where it's in the way, where it can get easily bumped, it's got this little tiny pressure sensitive button that dims it in 10% increments so that you can light it very slowly just with a touch or bring it down all the way up to full brightness very easily. Um, we were testing these on a number of different surfaces just to kind of see what, you know, this is bright, very bright. I feel like I'm being interrogated, but how bright is this? What can we put on this that we can see through? Um, We've got a little bird here on some tracing paper over here, and then just a, a little cartoon of little Jerry. Um, we've got 300 pound watercolor paper. This is something that you can barely ever trace through. You have to always use messy graphite paper. Actually with this, you can put this on here. I can actually see this through it. It's very easy to see. It would be very easy to trace. I mean, it's, it's just enough where I can see it there. Um, that's really unusual. You just don't get that with regular light boxes. That's 300 pound Fabriano Artistico paper. Um, with a canvas, we've got um, just a printed image uh, from, you know, putting it through a regular printer on the computer, taped on the back of our cotton canvas that's primed with acrylic gesso. You can see the tiger very easily through it. Um, uh, from my viewing standpoint, I would be able to trace that very easily and be able to use it to paint. We've got sanded pastel paper. Uh, that's just some UART pastel paper. That offers a really clean, crisp view of that image. Um, anything from Stonehenge printmaking paper, you're looking at a 90 pound printmaking paper. Super easy to see through, and that's actually a tinted one that's kind of like a beige color. Other printmaking paper, 280 gram. Strathmore printmaking paper, super easy to see through. Bristol for your fine line illustrations. Very crisp, very easy to see. Um, even with this little bird image here. Super easy to see that little fine line bird image to be able to do your artwork from. So, you know, cheating or not, not really. Sometimes it comes down to saving time. Um, and, you know, time is money when you're an artist. And if you're, you know, trying to price your work reasonably in this economy, this can do a lot towards putting more money in your pocket because it gives you more time to do more artwork. Uh, but still with a professional light box that's going to give you, you know, hours and hours of very cool running temperatures with that LED light, um, and also save you money on electricity while doing so. So the accurate thin line professional light boxes, give them a try.